Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Gunman Clive 2. And when last we left off, we're a duck on a ship that's heading towards an island that has dinosaurs on it. And in other news, this plot is most certainly not very silly. We're going to have to be very careful because these ducks are most... Ooh, that enemy most certainly also managed to hurt us. But there is cake over here, and cake is good. Let's not try and ask how a duck manages to eat cake, shall we? And I think that the uh, very top of our head will get hit by those if we're not careful. So some timing will not go amiss. There we go. I don't think this part will hurt us. No, that part won't. But we should be very, yep, fast and quick. All the things that a duck is, or rather isn't. All right, let's not fall into oblivion because falling into oblivion means that we need to go and do this part all over again. Brilliant. And now we need to time our movements very precisely. There we go. One down, two down, and three down. Oh, we managed to get hit. That is not good. But over here is an area full of spikes, and I imagine, yep, we can just fly over there. There is someone there with a gun that's trying to shoot us. That is not good, but we can pretty much avoid you. And you, sir. Ha ha! You have a gun, but I am a duck, and duck trumps gun. And there is a ninja. Hello, how are you? Oh, you are going to attack us, so we need to be very careful. And move as quickly as we can, because the end of the stage is right there. And now, dinosaurs. Ducks versus dinosaurs, eh? Who's going to win? I think the answer is most likely going to be dinosaurs. Or is it going to be a duck? Who can say? We're about to find out, though. Hello, dinosaur. We're going to use your head to get up here. I'm flying! Haha, -ha, take that dinosaur that can't fly! And on to the next area, where the jumping is not- Oh, the jumping is going to be a bit of a problem because I timed it rather badly. Alright, Velociraptor 0, Duck 2, haha! -ha. Unfortunately, uh, Bottomless Pits 1, Duck 0 so far. Alright, a little bit of jumping, and a little bit more progress, and this time let's time this a little bit better. That is much better. Hello, you! You are not shooting in the right direction at all, because I'm just going to fly over you, but there is an owl there, and we need to be very careful of owls, and boomerangs, but mostly of owls. Goodbye, sir! You are not going to turn around, and there are three owls on the screen. And now that doesn't matter, because we're off the screen. Okay, timing this correctly is key. We could probably fly over that, but I'd rather not try- Oh, careful! I'd rather not try! There we go, we'll just, uh, there is a duck! We need to be very- Oh, and the duck out of all the things here is the one thing that hurts us. Okay, inwards we go, and that stage is pretty quickly cleared indeed! And now a minecart section! If I recall, this one was rather tricky, so we're gonna have to be very careful. Flying over here is important, and using that dinosaur is even more important, and that pelican is really not a problem. We need to be very ready to jump whenever we need to, but fortunately being able to fly makes this a little bit simpler. Just a little. There we go. Oh, careful. Excellent duck piloting skills there. And now we're up to this area, where being able to fly might be advantageous. I don't... Oh, I don't quite remember, but it does... Oh, unfortunately we timed that poorly. And death is the only thing that meant that duck. Verily, he quacked it. And so, we're going to jump even better than we did before. 10% more duck efficiency. Anything to jump here? No, but there is something to uh, jump over there. Okay, carefully does it, Mr. Duck, who yet has no- Oh! Fortunately, we're sort of able to uh, salvage it because we can fly, but I'd rather not rely on doing that. Okay, we'll uh, jump about here, and then we'll jump here, and then here. Much better. We just need to avoid getting killed now, and I think we can just about- There we go! You're about to hit your head there, by the way. And now, more dinosaurs, and things that we most certainly need to fly over. Definitely need to fly over all of this, and avoid that duck there. Oh, careful! Hello, robot! I do not want to say hello to you, though, because you are most certainly going to hurt. Most certainly. Alright, carefully does it, and carefully indeed it was done. Goodbye, enemy! You cannot turn around, and that is your folly. Next area we go! 
Let's see if we can do this a little better, being able to fly. Alright, we just need to jump over this, and oh, careful. Need to be very, oh, and we got hit there. I was sort of anticipating being hit at least once. Hello there, we can't actually hit you. That is really bad, so we're going to have to avoid you as best we can. Uh, oh, you do actually stop chasing us. I'm very surprised about that. You really should have just uh, continued to do that. And goodbye, dinosaur. You have been very helpful. The next stage is indeed here, and we're very close to the end already, and we cannot at all attack on this pterodactyl. We're just going to have to avoid everything we can to this very relaxed music, and we've already taken one hit. I do remember dying here quite a bit, so we're going to have to be very careful. Although when we get to the uh, final part of this level, we just have to avoid um, all the turrets, because we can't shoot them. Alright, doing a uh, sort of circular... Ba oh, that is a bad idea. We need to be in the middle of that. There we go. I remembered! And still managed to fail piloting through there. Okay, we haven't been hit again. Hello there! How are you? You have missed spectacularly. Oh, avoid the laser of doom! The laser of doom has been avoided. And now we just sort of need to avoid these turrets, which is easier said than done. Most certainly easier said than done. Can we avoid these turrets here? We don't actually need to blow any of these up, which is good. We need to avoid that laser as well. I don't remember where to go to avoid it. Uh, there is not a good place to be. That was probably the worst place I could have been to avoid them. Alright, we have pl plenty of uh, health, rather. But say, uh, plenty of health. That is indeed not what we have. And now, the level beyond beckons us. Unfortunately, being able to fly is probably going to be really good here. Okay, we need to turn around and fly like that. Yeah, being able to fly makes these rather simple. Who would have thought that they didn't prepare for a duck? Well, I don't think they should, because a duck, after all, is the... Oop, ow. The, a duck is actually the uh, person who uh, probably built all of this. Or maybe they planned for duck betrayal. Who can say? All right, we just need to... Uh, ah, flying there is a little bit difficult, but I managed it just fine. And now we need to be very careful here. Let's, uh, oh, there we go. Just have to be a little careful. There we go. Not bad, and, uh, fortunately we are just short enough that that didn't hit us. And that didn't hit us either because of our positioning. It was rather good positioning. All right, we need to jump over here and avoid that enemy. Oh, we need to avoid that enemy. That is not great. Fortunately, that enemy does go and hide, which is a handy. Then we fly over there, and they shoot only twice, which is something... Ooh, they do, however... Ooh, that was bad. They do, however, still hurt because they uh, come out way too quickly. Rather uh, quicker than I anticipated. Oh, careful, Mr. Duck. You don't want to fall to your doom. That doom is a long, long way down. A very long way down. In fact, one could say it's a fatal amount of... Ooh, that's not good. Okay, we don't want to go over to that other one because there's really no reason to whatsoever. There isn't a power up for us, so uh, up here we go. And that was a very bad place to try and jump. Very bad indeed. I imagine this point will most certainly be where I lose most of my uh, infinite number of lives. But I suppose losing an infinite number really doesn't matter. All right, duck. Careful platforming is required here. Very careful indeed. There we go. And with exceptional skill, the duck managed to avoid everything. Because it's a duck. Alright, jumping like this is probably the best idea. And then one, two, and then one jump over. There we go, much better. So we go one, two, and then... Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I did indeed. That was foolish. Let's try again. This time with a little less failure, duck. And the duck did not answer, because you guessed it. It doesn't have any ability to speak. There we go. One jump successfully done. And the second one, and we didn't hit the electricity there. That is an improvement. And we didn't even get hit by that either. I think more through luck than anything else. All right, up here we go. Brilliant. And now we need to do this all over again, but this time with less failure. We just want to sort of stay over here. It's probably the best place to go. Over here, and then up here, down here, and then up here again. And then down here again. Excellent. The minimum amount of movement a duck requires. And then jumping up here is the uh, best thing to do. One, two, jump over. And do that again. One, two, jump over once. 
much. Ooh, forgot about that. We sort of need to fly over there. Forgot that the uh, arrows weren't in that area. Okay, it's this... Ooh, and I forgot about you. That is not good. But fortunately, there is this area where uh, it's not really that difficult to uh, get over if we just uh, do a bit of flying like that. There we go. And carefully does it, Mr. Duck, as you now need to avoid your most tricky problem ever. Loads of people trying to shoot you. It is uh, quite a problem. But fortunately, we just flew away from our problem. And the stage is clear. But I do think that there is, uh, yep, there is one more stage that we have yet to do. And it is probably a little bit easier than before because we are a duck. There we go, just a little bit of flying here, and uh, we could actually probably avoid a fair bit of it. Oh, that was not so well avoided. Not so well avoided at all. And this part is probably going to be rather tricky, because they will most certainly crush us. So we want to uh, jump here, and then, uh, oh, 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 that was poorly timed. Very poorly timed indeed. Maybe we can just, uh, we can't go up there. We uh, don't have enough uh, ability to fly. Maybe if we were up there on this uh, bit, but we might as well not do that. We could just uh, do that here. There we go. And a little bit of flying and a little bit more flying. We don't want to get crushed there. That would... Oh! Getting shot there was also rather not good, though. So we're uh, losing health either way. Pretty bad. All right, take two at this. And I think... Yep. Oh, oh. That's much better. We just need to avoid getting uh, shot here. Very easy considering that we are so very, very short because we're a duck. Ooh, careful. And that was not... Ooh, it's this part. I remember this part. And we can't shoot any of these, so we're just going to have to try our best to avoid all the enemies as best we can, including that spider there. Oh, that was really bad. And we have perished. I imagine this part, if uh, no other part of this level, would cause an issue mainly because we can't shoot. You'd be surprised how not being able to shoot makes quite a difference. And this time we didn't get hit there. Oh, we didn't get hit there, but we did manage to fall, which is uh, not too bad, really. All right, we want to go here, and then we want to do that. Can we make it here? We actually can, which isn't so bad. And now we haven't been hit whatsoever. Let's try our best this time not to perish. That's easier said than done, admittedly. We could uh, do that. There we go, that worked. And the fact that we can uh, sort of fly makes this a little easier, but only a little. All right, we want to do that. And then this. Aha! Much better. And now we're on this platform that will lead over to here. Excellent! Congratulations! The bandits have found their new leader. A duck. Really, they should consider, like, broadening the amount of, like, applicants they have for this. Hey, this duck managed to get in here. Why don't we make this duck our leader? Sure, why not? And then the duck was the leader. And they all went up to him and went, What's your bidding, my leader? And the duck went, Quack. They all just looked at each other and decided, Well, that obviously means go and crush that town that Gunman Clive lives in. Because after all, he did manage to destroy our base on the moon. I do have one question, though. How did we have a base on the moon? Quack. Ah, yes. Let's, uh, not question why we have bases on the moon. Very sound advice. That is, after all, why we made you the leader. And now that I think about it, why... I'm actually thinking about it, which is a bad thing. Why do they uh, decide to make a duck uh, their leader? Like anyone else could do. Like anyone, for instance, with a gun. Then again, you could just build... Ah, and the duck gets cake and sort of looks a little confused about the fact that the duck has cake. It's like, why do I have cake? I do not need cake here because I am a duck. But that is neither here nor there. Yes, indeed, that is a duck riding a horse in the background of the menu screen. There has never been a more majestic thing in any Western, ever. There is one more thing we can do with Gunman Clive 2, and that is show off the final character we've yet to play any of the levels with at all. And that is Chieftain Bob. 
Chieftain Bob is unique in that he has a melee only uh, attack, and he doesn't pick up any power ups for the uh, spear as far as I know. It is a very powerful attack, but it is very short range and rather slow. So you do have to be far more careful in how you approach any enemies because you can't rely on being able to take them out before they become a threat. Case in point right here, you have to uh, try your best to get very close rather than uh, jump here to avoid uh, firepower and then shoot back because it's pretty much going to be impossible. We however do need to avoid that barrel because hey avoiding that barrel is always a good idea and you can't go and deal with this enemy until you're on this side here and then you can just jab him in the uh, leg with a spear. The spear is very very powerful though, case in point this pelican here is probably going to die in one hit and this robot is probably going to die in a couple. Let's see, one and two. Two hits for one robot, that is a really powerful spear, or a really rubbish robot, I'm not quite sure which. Hello there enemy, how are you? Kapow, you have been jabbed with the spear of doom. And here is the robot that you can't go and hit, and I don't know how high his jump is, it does seem about as high as uh, the other jumps, but I might be wrong there, I might be wrong. Let's be uh, very careful and move on to the next level here, just to uh, see how well he does against any of these, like for instance this enemy here. One jab and he is gone, and the spiders are really not going to be any problem at all because uh, I do believe, yep, yeah, we can just jab them. This one however, probably going to be a little bit, no actually, not going to be a problem whatsoever. Being able to move back very quickly made that very simple. Then again I imagine uh, Clive could have done that quite effectively too. Or maybe I'm just a little bit better at the game. Who can say? It has been a very enjoyable game either way. And here is a jumping puzzle that I hopefully won't fail because it is about the third time I've oop and I managed to fail it by overcomplicating it indeed. There you go, you have been defeated once more and so has this absolutely massive spider. I mean this spider is huge. That was probably why that person was running out, because it was a massive spider the size of a human in this cave. That would probably get many people a little worried, or very worried. Can we hit you from here? We can indeed. Alright, let's be a little bit more careful this time. And there we go, much better. And you have been defeated. And now a jumping puzzle, which we only just managed to not fail. That is quite an achievement. Hello you, you have been jabbed. And you have also been jabbed. Two jabs with the spear and ooh the bat. The bat is not as much of a problem as um, it could have been, mainly because the melee attack is actually really good at dealing with the bat. Alright, can we hit you from here on this box? No we, oh no we could not. Unfortunately I think uh, the end of the level is rather soon. And I'd rather not hit that so I'll just jump out of the way. There we go, much better. And let's try and go and do the next level, shall we? After all, ducks versus spears, the answer is spear wins. I'm not very surprised. All right, carefully does it. And we'll just jab you, hello! And we traded blows. But the uh, result was is that uh, I lived and you perished. So I won. After all, cake heals all wounds. Absolutely all of them. Just don't think of a wound, cake will heal it, but only in Gunman Clive. Alright, there you are, you're gone. It's actually quite fun playing as uh, Chieftain Bob. I imagine some of the later parts will be rather tricky, like for instance here. You're going to have to be uh, very, yeah, hitting those is not so easy. And hitting this enemy is also probably not that easy. No, I imagine um, I should have actually uh, took that a little bit slower. But we are going to get past this level before we uh, call it a day with Gunman Clive 2 and attack a little bit earlier against you. Hello there, how are you? You are dead. Timing was key there and jabbing with a spear. That was probably a little bit more key to be fair. Alright, hello there. That is a very poor place to try and hit someone. Indeed, you have now perished. Alright, one jump. And onwards we go, and this time we're definitely going to try and hit you. Like this. Aha! And we'll get you as well. And, oh, do not duck that. That is a terrible idea. However, we will jab you in the head with a spear. That'll certainly do the trick. 
All right, onwards we go. Hello, you. I have no way to deal with the dynamite. So we're just going to have to jump here, I think. There we go. And we have very little health indeed, but it's a good thing that Chieftain Bob also likes cake. Everyone likes cake in Gunman Clive, except varmints. They don't like cake. All right. Oh, that was bad. And back to the beginning we go. Alas, indeed, alas. But we will persevere. Eventually. Ah, there we go. I'm getting quite good at dealing with that enemy at the very least. Two jumps, and onwards to this area. Excellent. Hello, you. How are you? You are dead. And so will every other varmint who crosses our path be. We could probably just avoid this. Well, we nearly avoided it. Nearly. I'm not doing very well here at all. We only have a few hits left. All right, probably... Yeah, doing that was probably a better idea. But moving very quickly here is an even better idea. There we go. Let's try our best not to fail at a jumping puzzle. Like this one here. Okay, there we go. And jump here. Much better. Goodbye, robot. Spear versus robot. Spear one. Robot... Ah, you. You are going to be rather tricky, but no, nope, you are not. But we do need to jump off that just in case it falls, which it did. And that is another level clear. And I think that's uh, enough to uh, showcase what the uh, what the melee attacks with uh, Chieftain Bob are like. So we'll go back to the main menu here. And that indeed is a Gunman Clive 2, and by extension, both of the Gunman Clive games. Very, very enjoyable, rather short, but they don't outstay their welcome, and they are rather fun to play. Plus, the second one is very silly. The first one is also moderately silly, but uh, let's just say that Gunman Clive 2 blows the silliness of the first game out of the water, and then into space, and then back down from space, whereupon they then fly in a pterodactyl to an airship and fight a duck. The final villain of the second game was a duck. I'm still trying to comprehend how that even works in making a... Uh, group of varmints who are like doing evil things being led by a duck. I suppose you could say that's why their scheme was so quackers. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was very terrible. And that is Gunman Clive 2. Very enjoyable and um, pretty much something I don't tend to play that often platformer games. So, uh, or platforming games rather. So uh, it's very good that um, I found these games and gave them a try. And if anyone else likes platformers, I recommend that you give this a try. Maybe you'll play on the harder difficulty, or go for the achievements with uh, get taking no damage uh, at all anywhere. I don't think I could do that. Also, with the uh, spear there that Chieftain uh, Bob is holding, it looks like the person riding the horse has a very, very large hat. And that is very silly. And I'm Kikoskia, and this was Let's Play Gunman Clive 2. And when we come back, who can say what will be there? But all we know is there'll probably be a few less ducks. Or will there? I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. And also, that music, the whole music and all the music in this game is really good. I didn't mention it enough, but the music is really good. Very catchy, too, and very Western, even in the areas that weren't the Old West. And so I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. It's a good thing that we have Gunman Clive here to come and help us against all of those ducks. But the ducks aren't causing a problem. Oh, they are. Look around you, son. Every one of those ducks is a criminal mastermind, waiting to hatch an evil scheme. That was an excuse for a terrible pun, wasn't it? Yes. And hopefully, I think I got a... Oh, oh, there comes Gunman Clive now. I don't think I got away with it. You never get away with them, Dad. No, indeed. I <laughs> Thanks, Gunman Clive. You saved us from a bad pun. You don't actually talk, do you? No, you don't. Well, so long, Clive. Flying away on a rocket. I wish I could be like Clive. Maybe you can. But only if you get a rocket and then go to space. How does Clive survive on the moon anyway in that rocket? Or on that rocket, rather. Don't be in the rocket, Clive. That's even worse. That's even far worse. I'm amazed Clive survives. In fact, I'm actually just amazed he survived that at all. How did you get into space, Clive? 
So many questions, no answers. But sometimes you don't need them. Sometimes you just don't need them. Later.